If you've verified the motor of your slide room system is working, that it's got 12 volt going to it and the room still doesn't retract, then we're going to come out and take a look at what's causing it from that point out to the mechanism. This happens to be the Lippert uh, in the frame slide room and this synchronizing rod or cylinder here is going to actually move the room in and out. We've got a little bit of play here. So the first thing I do is I'm going to hit the switch and I know that my motor's running and I see that this bar, the cylinder is not moving at all. So that's telling me that something from the motor or the solenoid to here is not working, is not connected. I'm going to have to follow that. Probably need to take it in um, and have somebody uh, look at that point. Now, if I hit the motors running and I hit the switch and it starts to go, and if we get it to stop right like it's doing this, somewhere we've got an obstruction, whether it's in the, um, in the room itself, we could have the, the room is crooked, uh, we've got some settling out of it. One of the important things in a slide room mechanism is to make sure that you're good and level and secure before you bring that room in because if my chassis is twisted, my, room, my sidewall is going to be twisted, and then my room's going to get stuck coming in and out, and I only have so much pressure that can push that in and out. So once we verify we have our jacks down, everything's good here, we may be able to bring it in and out that way, but if it still doesn't do it, then I'm going to look underneath and take a, a closer look at the gear system. I might have something jammed underneath, but typically this means if it starts to move, then it's mechanical. It's underneath here. If it doesn't move, it's hydraulic or electrical back in the inside. So just a few things you can do to help troubleshoot your room if the motor's running.